Hello guys, so welcome to InDesign and this would be a beginner tutorial explaining the interface of InDesign. So first off when you launch InDesign you get a window looking something like this. Um, this is um, InDesign 2020 CC I'm using Creative Cloud. So let's um, get into it. So first we'll go to create new and when you go to create new you'll say create new document now in design is really used to create mostly print documents and also interactive documents such as ebooks now um if we were to click the print um icon here we'll go into blank document presets letter legal tabloid letter half and legal half so these are half sizes now these are letter sizes and First off, we're gonna change the unit from pikas to uh, let's change to inches. So we'll see the eight and a half and eleven that we're used to. So basically, this is one page would be eight and a half by eleven. Number of pages in your document. Let's set that to uh, um, twelve. No, let's set that to eight. Facing pages is checked. Now, what facing pages is is that picture a book, and if you were to open a book you would see a page on the left and a page on the right that's facing pages usually in um, programs like Microsoft Office you have a layout where you have pages stacked on top one of one on top of each other so you have that um, linear approach to design now with facing pages you have something called spreads when two pages come together so it says pass um, start at page one number of columns and columns gutter um, so number of columns um, set to 1 let's increase that to 3 and the column gutter the gutter is the space in between columns right so that is very important too margins um, are the safe area in which you need to put your text especially for print in that when you're exporting for print you don't want your text to be cut off so it's always safe to have a margin so this margin is set to half an inch and bleed and slug now bleed is very important again for print that that way um, you could print to the exact edge of the page and you know where the bleed mark is so, so whatever prints could bleed off the page and it, when the printer cuts the pages it will show the exact edge um, especially for things like full color pages and pages that full of images and stuff like that so we'll set um, our bleed at point one two five inches and we'll hit this um make all set in the same chain link icon and that way right around has a bleed right um so we'll hit create and now we are in InDesign itself um, let's close this dialog box um right so first off this is your menu bar at the top and on your menu bar it has your workspace set out here just like in window workspace um, I'm gonna change it to essentials classic because that's the one I have grown used to and you now see an application bar pop up here now this application bar applies to again whatever tool you're using right they change so the options bar applications bar will change um, determining what um, tool you use on the left hand side here so this is obviously a toolbar and on the right side we have our panels now the one of the most important panels we could ask for or use in in design is the pages panel and now you can see how the facing pages work so this is page one this is pages 2 and 3, 4 and 5. So these are the facing pages. So page 1 would be like a cover page. And when you flip a cover, you would get pages 2 and 3 and so on. Right? And obviously 8 would be a back page. Remember, we set it up at 8, eight pages. So now we have in front of us, if we scroll down, we can see the, the canvas here. And the pages that laid out on it. Let me just minimize that um so 
what we have here with this line your yours may be a different color but the red outline or the pinkish outline here is your bleed the magenta and purple lines are your margins and obviously these are your columns the three columns that we set up and the two gutters in between them remember that from our documents now if we want to see that one more time we go to document setup and we can see here it's a that's under file document setup we go to pages and letter size with margins here 0 0.5 and we can also see the bleed and slug here right and we can adjust it element if we want right but um we're fine with that so this is how you set up a basic print document um in in design so let's um begin by adding some simple text and see what happens so add in um text we go to the type tool right and we could click and drag and that will create a text box for us and in here we could fill we could type um heading and now obviously we can increase or decrease the text size um, the best fastest way to do this is to hold control and shift and hit the full stop on the keyboard to increase your text size or to decrease your text size you hold control shift and hit the comma on your keyboard to decrease your text size All right now once you've done that we can now change the font style in your options bar so once you have your type tool selected you can go to the top and choose off a font um, that you want so we'll choose something random yeah change the capital capital H and we can align it to the margin right now as I said before this is a layout program it's not a word processing program like um, Microsoft Office so basically what happened writers tend to write in Office or Word and they export their file to the designer now when the designer received their file received the word file they place it into the InDesign document so what InDesign has done is that it allows us to apply dummy text so Lauren Ipsum um, for those who are familiar with it is dummy text Latin that we could fill in a text box here so what I've done I've, I've gone to the type tool and I've selected a, a text box and I've pulled it and now here you see that cursor blinking now we could type right or we could fill it with dummy text so we go to type and we scroll to the bottom and said fill with placeholder text and this way we can see here how our document would look with text on it so this is what a story would look like so we can again we could go up here and change this font to something like um future light and when we change it to future light we can also change the font size to about 11 and now we could see that probably looks a little better or we could just bring in the margins a little bit to say well okay maybe it looks better this way so basically it shows you how text would look on the sheet of paper right so to preview this now with all these guides on it you go you look on the uh, depending on which version of of um in design you have but all from cs4 up has this directly to the bottom you'll see a preview icon and with a little black arrow it says normal and if we click it it says we could change it to preview and now we could see what it would look like if it were printed and that is basically how we add simple text to our pages in InDesign.
So moving ahead, we will look at adding paragraph, how to change paragraph styles, and how to make um, adjust your letting and kerning in InDesign. So see you again.